The Matrix bullet time effect is one of the most iconic scenes in film history. They placed 120 cameras in an arc around Neo to capture this insane slow motion shot. Something that we've always wanted to recreate, but we don't have 120 cameras. Janik, do we have 120 cameras? No! Not a problem, we are Cinecom, we think outside of the box. Perhaps we swing a camera on a rope. No, that didn't go well. What about an Insta360 camera? Not exactly what we're looking for. Or what if we build it entirely in Unreal Engine? I mean, I flew through the Matrix City before. Yeah, but that was a lot of work. You call that work? How can we recreate the bullet time effect very easy and without too much gear? Aha. Uh -huh. So I have this gimbal now for two, three years, I'm not sure. And I forgot to take off the satisfaction tape. You okay, Janik? <laughs> Welcome to this tutorial. Don't try this at home. <laughs> there are two parts to this effect. You have the body movement of Neo and then you have the flying bullets through the slow motion space. For the body movement part, you want to have two ropes which are connected to something more soft because you want to go and lay in here. These two ropes then go to the ceiling so you can do this in your garage or even outside, just throw two ropes over a tree branch or something. And then you make sure that this rope goes behind your back. So that is simply like this, that's it. And when you then wear one of these long jackets, come on Timon, there you go. And that way you're kind of hiding the two ropes and nobody sees them. Then someone else holds the rope on the other side and the idea is that you can actually fall right now and that they hold you so that you don't touch the ground. Draw me like one of your French girls. You get the idea guys, just be very safe as they're doing this because we don't take any responsibilities for this, okay? Capiche? Capiche? All right, then comes the filming guys and you want to shoot at slow motion, ideally 120 frames a second and basically just run in an arc around your talent. You can do that on a gimbal. You have some more of a steady motion if you have that. If you don't have a gimbal, don't worry, it's actually a phone like this already works too. If you add some sort of an extension pole to your phone or to a small camera, it also kind of acts not really like a gimbal but some sort of a stabilizer as you run around with it because of the weight it's pulling itself down. And we actually tested it using this iPhone and the shot came out pretty good, although there is much noise in there and that is because we made the big mistake of shooting indoor in a very dark studio. Why did we do this? All right, and that's it. Lorenzo will show you how to remove the wires with a simple click. That's right, it's so easy. First of all, let's drag the clip of our talent on wires in our sequence. Head over to the effects and presets window, look for the CC simple wire removal effect and drag that on top of our clip. Now, make sure you are at the beginning beginning of your clip. With the effect selected, we see two markers on our clip. Position one of those at the beginning of our rope and the other marker on the end. And now comes the magic. If you increase the thickness, we'll see that at a certain point the rope disappears. Wire removal is as easy as that. What it basically does is take some pixels from the left and the right side of the marker over the entire length between the two points and these it spaces again between the two markers, covering the rope. To animate these points, we can click the stopwatch next to the point A and B in the effects controls panel and start keyframing these over the entire length of the clip. Do exactly the same for the other rope. Once that is done, you'll notice that some parts are not perfect like this spot right here for example. But again, this we can easily fix with masking the bad spots away and replacing them with bits and pieces from our original shot. Basically creating your own clean plate for those places. At some parts we even use content that were filled to make them for us. And that is all there is to do to remove those wires. When you think about the Matrix bullet time, you also think about Neo dodging all the bullets. And this is also something we want in our video. However, we don't want to use any 3D software to add the bullets. But luckily we found these cool stock clips of slow motion bullets on Storyblocks, the sponsor of today's video. These will be perfect to integrate in our shot. And the only thing we then need to do later on is the ripple trail. In their ever growing library with more than 1 million royalty free high quality stock assets, we also have these cool bullet impact shots, explosions and even more to create stunning action scenes. Now speaking out of experience, we 
use story blocks a lot. Maybe we just needed a drone shot, a subtle smoke asset, or a buttload of VFX assets. With their wide variety, we always find something perfect for our projects, and they help us to bring our visual effects to life. Like you can find stock assets in HD to 4K resolution, various After Effects templates, which will save you a lot of time, epic music and sound effects to make your action scenes even more realistic. And to top that off, you can download an endless amount of assets from their library with the unlimited all access plan. Or you can check out the other affordable plans. There's one for every need. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash Cinecom. We have removed all the wires from our slow-mo shot and now it's time to finish the effect with some bullet rails. First thing we want to do is creating a new solid layer. We're also going to make it bigger than our composition. Next we will add a Venetian blinds and a CC cylinder effect. This will give us a 3D cylinder existing out of lines. Now let's animate that cylinder. We want our bullet to come from the right side of our frame going to the left. So with the standard position property we animated the cylinder from the right side to the left. Then we also animated the Venetian blinds width and the cylinder radius to make our trail go from small to big. Of course, we also used the rotation properties from the CC cylinder effect to make our trail rotate in the 3D space. Now let's go a step further. First we duplicate our solid layer and on the bottom solid we will remove the Venetian blind effect. But we will add a fast box blur effect giving us a solid trail. Then we will change the blending mode of our top solid layer to add to bring back our lines. Now let's create those ripples towards the end of our trial movement. We created an adjustment layer and added a bunch of bulge effects to it. These effects we then placed over the entire moving trail giving us this cool ripple effect. A last thing we did with the bulge effects is animate the bulge height to go from small to big towards the end. Once we have a movement we like we selected our adjustment and two solid layers and then pre-composed them. As a last step we again add an adjustment layer and on this we added a displacement effect where we use our trail as a displacement source. You can use the native displacement map effect from After Effects, but we use the chromatic displacement from Red Giant. Both work fine. And voila, we have a cool Matrix bullet time effect. Of course, don't forget to add a bullet and you're done. Welcome to the Matrix. This ain't a Matrix. This is real. I mean, I feel real. Hey, dodge this. my back. Ah, oh, I'm getting too old for this. Now, did you know that you can also attach a rope to your camera? Well, we actually have a video about that. You can check it out over there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, StoryBlocks, for your support. And as always, stay creative.